We've looked at a lot of interesting concepts so far in this course. We've looked at character classes, quantifiers, capturing groups, special characters, meta characters, and a bunch of other things. In this course, we're going to be looking at another interesting concept, which is alternation in irregular expressions. What is alternation? Alternation, also called alternate characters, allows you to specify a this or that character or group of characters. You create them with the pipe symbol, which is the vertical stroke or vertical line you can find that on your keyboard and let's see an example let's say you have a pattern like this that you have the pipe symbol and you have that so this will match the characters this or that and let's see a string example let's say we have a string like i love this but i do not love that and then for the pattern i'll have this and i have a pipe symbol and then i have that so what happens here is all the characters up until this first pipe this is going to be the first option then after this pipe all the characters to the right would be the second option so you have the first option or the second option and as you can see in this result here it matches this and also matches that and we can even have another pipe here and say maybe something like those i love this but I do not love that and I do not love those you can see it matches this or that or those and you can have as many more as you want alternation 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 and the regex engine would match any of these characters where you use the alternation one thing you notice with alternation is that it actually looks similar to character classes remember in the character classes it also allows you to specify a this or that character how is this different from alternation the difference between alternation alternation and character classes is that character classes only allows you to provide characters it does not allow you to provide other expressions like groups or quantifiers for example let's say you have a character class of the word meta character and then you have the plus quantifier which means one or more now by putting this in the character class what would happen here is that the character class would see the plus as a normal plus symbol it doesn't see the plus as a quantifier which means one or more is going to see it as a normal plus character and let's actually test this out let's say we have a string like he likes to ping what is and then we have plus ing and then for the pattern i have my character class i have the word meta character and then i have the plus quantifier and uh, let's see i now have ing at the end so what do you see here this does not mean the plus quantifier this just means a normal plus because we're using it in a character class so that is why it matches ping because p comes from the word meta character and it also matches plus ing because the plus comes from the character class our character class here says a word meta character or a plus character it does not mean a word meta character repeated one or more times nope it means a word meta character or a plus character followed by ing that is why ping is match and plus ing is match and also if you attempt to use a group in a character class it would not work let's say you have a pattern like you have a character class in that character class you now have the open parenthesis you have ha and then you have the closing parenthesis now when you use parenthesis in regular expressions it's supposed to mean a group right a capturing group but because you're using it in a character class it's going to be seen as the normal open parenthesis and close parenthesis and we can also try this out so let's say we have something like random characters and then we have open parenthesis ing a ing and then we have closing parenthesis ing then for this pattern we have a character class and here we have open and close parenthesis and then we have ha and after the character class we have ing the character class here would not see this as a group Group. because you're using it in a character class this open parenthesis which is supposed to be a special character for groups would just be seen as a normal open parenthesis and this here would also be seen as a normal closing parenthesis so here what our character class means is that an open parenthesis or h or a or closing parenthesis followed by ing and that is why it matches open parenthesis ing it matches a i n g it matches closing parenthesis ing and if we also have h i n g that will also be a match because because H is in the character class. So this is the thing with character classes. You can only provide normal characters or meta characters, but you cannot use special characters in character classes because they would be seen as normal characters. But when it comes to alternation, you can use other features of regular expressions, including quantifiers and groups and other special characters. And we can actually see an example. So if you remember in the previous lesson, we looked at groups and we saw that groups allows you to group characters together. So now we can have a 
pattern like TH and then we have a group and in this group we have IS and then we have an alternation and then we have AT. Now what do you think this is going to match? This is going to match TH followed by IS or followed by a T. So you can see how with this alternation, we are able to use a group. Remember when we tried to use a group in character classes, it didn't work. But with alternation, you can use it. Another thing you notice is that in character classes, you can only pick one character at a time. If we have something like at, we can only pick A or T at a time. We cannot pick A, T together. But with the group here, we can pick I, S together. So here we're saying I, S or A, T. And if we have a string like he said this, he he didn't say that. You can see that this and that matches because the regular expression is able to alternate between IS coming after TH or AT coming after TH. And again, here we can add another alternation and have OSE. And then after he didn't say that, we can also say he said those. And you can see this is also a match. We have TH followed by IS or AT or OSE. We can even have a quantifier. Let's say we have the one or more quantifier which means the e should appear zero or one time so here if we even say he said thos you can see that also matches if the e is provided it matches if the e is not provided it matches so you can see how with alternation we can still use other features of regular expressions as long as it's a valid regular expression you can pass your alternation now when we looked at capturing groups in the capturing groups lesson i mentioned that capturing groups allows you to capture those groups in your search results and that is why rejects 101 com shows this os as green ose as green is as green at as green that is because we have a capturing group but we can actually tell the rejects engine i don't want to capture this group i just want to use them in my pattern for alternation i don't care about them in my search results to disable the capturing feature of capturing groups here you would have a question mark followed by a colon by having a question mark followed by a colon you are saying i just want to group some characters together i don't want to capture them so this makes this a non capturing group and as you can see in this result they are no longer green that is because they are not captured if i remove them you can see is is captured because it is in the capturing group here at is captured because it is in the capturing group here ose os is captured because it is in the capturing group here but if i put my question mark and i put my colon just after the open parenthesis you can see they are no longer captured let's see another example where we can use capturing groups let's say i have a string like i grabbed a refreshing of coca-cola or as some people call it coke while others prefer to call it coca-cola so yeah i have three representations of coca-cola i have coca hyphen cola i have coke and i have coca space cola now how can i write a regular expression that would match this three one two and three i can use alternation here again and i can write a simple pattern like coca-cola alternation coke or Coca space cola. So you can see it matches this, this, and this. What have I done here? I have used alternation to be able to alternate between this group of characters or this or this. Now I can even write this regular expression in a shorter way. Let's start again. So first thing I know is that these three substrings start with CO. So I'm going to have C Oh, then I'm going to alternate between the rest. So I'm now going to have a group and then I'm going to alternate between ka cola and um, ke and ka cola. So here I have alternated between ka cola, which is this part here, ke, which is this part here, and ka space cola. I can even make this shorter. So I'm going to make this a bit more complex. Stay with me. So here I'm going to have ko. Then I'm going to have ka, and then I know that after ka, it's either we have hyphen or we have a space. So I can have a character class that says hyphen or space. I can either do the space like this or I can use the white space meta character, but let me just give the space like this. And then I can say cola or ke like this. So what we're doing here is ko, and then in this group, we are saying ka followed by either a hyphen or a space, then followed by cola. Then we have the alternation, which means all of these or ke, which is this part. And you can see this three and how match. And if I don't want this to capture all of these groups, again, you can see this has green, green, green to show you it is captured. You can have the question mark and the colon that I don't want to capture anything in this group. This makes it a non-capturing group. And now we have this. Now one thing 
you notice with this pattern, if you remember at the beginning of this course, I mentioned that there are multiple ways to do things in regular expressions. I can write a pattern that solves a problem and you can write a different pattern that solves that same problem. And here is a good example where we have a different pattern that solves the same problem. But one problem you find here now with our pattern is readability. If you look at this, it's a bit hard to read what exactly this pattern does. You have to start checking. What does this mean? What does this character class mean? This and that, this and that. But if I just use a simple pattern like Coca-Cola, alternation Coke, alternation Coca-Cola, this does the same thing, but this is simpler to read. You know that this is what this regular expression does. So when you write regular expressions to solve different problems, be it simple problems or advanced problems, you should keep readability in mind. Try as much as possible to make your regular expressions readable so you don't end up confusing the other engineers that you work with or even confusing yourself because later on you might come to maybe make improvements or fix a bug and then you're like, what what exactly is this regular expression? What exactly was I thinking? So you write regular expressions, considering the fact that there are many ways to do things, try to make them as readable as possible. And if it's not possible to make them readable, maybe it's a complex regular expression or it's a complex problem you're solving, then you can just leave a comment above the regular expression that says, this is what this regular expression does. That way it can help you in the future or help the engineers that you work with. So this is how alternation allows you to alternate between more multiple regular expressions or multiple group of characters and as you can see in these different examples you can use them with quantifiers with capturing groups as long as it's a valid regular expression you can alternate between multiple expressions so i hope this was simple enough let me know in the comments below if this alternation concept now makes so much sense to you but i have one assignment for you today just one assignment for you so you can try it out and you can write your own regular expression to solve a problem So in this assignment, let's say we have this string. I copied a lot of files, index.js, react, hyphen diagram.jpg, my resume.pdf, blah, blah, blah. You can read the string. Let's say we want to match the images in this string, which are the files that end in JPG or PNG or JPEG. Can you write an accurate regular expression that would match these images. Copy this string, go to rejection101.com and attempt to find a solution for this. Pause this video, of course, before I share the answer. So I believe you already tried this out and you figured out a solution, but let's do it together. First, I want to address the file names. I know that the file names can either be a word character, which is a letter, a digit, or an underscore, or the file names can contain hyphens. So I'm going to have a character class, and then I have the word character, and then I have hyphen, which means match a word character or hyphen. Then I'm going to apply the plus quantifier, which means one or more of word characters or hyphens. Then after this, I'm now going to have have the extension but before the extension i'm going to have the dot character if i use the dot character this means wildcat special character but since i want the dot character i'm going to escape it now for the extension if i have just png you can see this just matches png and png but what about this image what about this image well this is where i can use alternation now if i use alternation like this let's say after png i have jpeg and i have jpg oops this should be alternation not escape if i use it like this this will not work the way i want it to because by using alternation like this it's going to do all of this or jpg or jpg and that is why you can see that only jpg in this file names are matched but i don't want all of this i want to say just png or jpg or jpg this is where i would use a capturing group so i'm going to capture this like this that way i'm enclosing the alternation so the alternation has a boundary of this open parenthesis and closing parenthesis so it's going to be all of this followed by png or jpg or jpg and now you can see all our images are matched this and this and this you can see again this is a capturing group it's capturing the extensions but in this case i don't need the extensions so i'm going to turn this into a non-capturing group by putting question mark and colon now you can see this file is not matched this file is not matched that is because the extensions are not here but if let's say i put alternation csv see this is now matched if i put alternation again and put pdf you can see this is now matched but that is not what i want 
I want to match only the images. So I'm going to put these extensions like this. Another thing I can do here is that JPEG and JPG, they are similar. The only character that is different here is E. So what I can do here is I can clear this part and say JPEG and I can make the E optional. So by putting the question mark, which is zero or one, I can say match JPEG if E exists. Or I can match JPEG if E does not exist, which makes it J. JPG. And now you can see logo.jpg is matched, react diagram.jpg is also matched. I hope this assignment and everything that we've looked at in this lesson helps you to understand alternation more and show you how alternation works with other features in regular expressions. And now that we're done with alternation, let's move on to the next interesting concept in regular expressions.